Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than 10 years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feeling like you're missing out on all the guitar playing fun, you can easily get started with my super simple Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. Now, on to today's tip. This podcast is brought to you in part by Gator. Whether you just need a bag to gig with on the weekends or a frequent flyer needing a flight-friendly TSA series case or a dedicated road warrior bringing your instruments on tour, Gator has a solution for you. For the stuff you love, guard it with Gator. Today's tip is, historically speaking, Acoustic Guitar Origins to Our Modern Day Instrument. 3500 BC. Does that sound familiar? Well, it might because I mentioned it in the April newsletter. But what's the significance of that date? Well, 3500 BC marks the earliest evidence of a guitar like instrument being played. So that means our instrument has a rich history, which is a great topic for International Guitar Month. In this episode, we'll explore the fascinating journey of acoustic guitars from their ancient roots to the modern instruments we know today. As always, I love to give a shout out to my listeners around the world. So this week, hello, and thank you to those of you listening in France, Thailand, Turkey, South Korea, and Bermuda. By the way, when you leave a positive review, I'll give you a shout out in a future episode. Guitars have been around for thousands of years. In fact, the first known stringed instrument evidence was discovered by archaeologists in the region of ancient Mesopotamia. They found an engraved cylinder dating back to 3500 BC depicting a woman playing the oud, a fretless lute common in Arabic culture. Throughout history, music has been made in many ways, including putting a stick in a hollowed-out gourd and attaching some sort of string material to a stick to create an instrument. This early guitar-like instrument, called a bull harp, had a distinctive concave curved stick neck. The ancient Egyptians and Persians designed a straight-sticked instrument called a tambour. This allowed the player to press more easily on the strings to make a different pitch. The oldest surviving guitar-like instrument, a tambour from Egypt, dates back to approximately 1500 B.C. The tambour is thought to be the most likely ancestor of today's modern guitar. In 700 B.C., the Kitara, K-I-T-H-A-R-A, was a prominent stringed instrument in Greece. The word Kitara is believed to be the origin of the word guitar. Kitaras shared similar characteristics such as seven equal length strings and a wooden body. Then, in 40 AD, the Romans introduced the guitarra to Spain. Guitars continued to evolve and began to really take shape in Europe during the Renaissance period. Guitar designs at the time included four pairs of strings, each pair tuned to the same note. The neck was shorter and the instruments were more delicate. Five and six pairs of strings followed until the late 1700s when the first guitar with six individual strings was introduced. 
The defining moment for classical guitars came in the 1850s, when Spanish luthier Antonio Torres pioneered fan bracing on the soundboard. This design enabled him to create a stronger, larger size guitar with a thinner soundboard, both of which increased the guitar's volume and projection. This paved the way for guitar playing to take a more leading role in music. To this day, his fan-shaped bracing is still the preferred method for classical guitars. At the same time in the mid-1850s, guitar makers in the United States were working on an X-bracing design. Chris Martin of Martin Guitar is best known for using X-bracing on his guitar models. Because of the greater strength afforded by the X-bracing, players could attach steel strings rather than nylon strings. Steel string guitars became the norm in the 1900s as folk and country western music became wildly popular, mainly because the soundboard on steel string guitars added a bigger volume and the ability to withstand percussive effects. While X bracing remains the conventional choice in contemporary steel string guitar construction, Taylor Guitar's recent innovation, V-Bracing, promises enhanced tone, volume, and sustain, making it a noteworthy advancement to acoustic guitar craftsmanship. Exploring the rich historical journey of acoustic guitar to its modern-day prominence is an instrumental way to celebrate International Guitar Month. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast. And as I like to say, play on.